Well, well, well. Hi there. Welcome to Dino's World. I have the spanking new Creta in line with me. The most beautiful Creta I've ever witnessed. And I had the privilege and honor of launching this just last night at Neon Hyundai here in uh, Hyderabad. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry So here you see the N-Line badging It has gotten a proper N-Line uh, visual overhaul just like uh, the i20 n line uh, that i myself own then the venue n line and now of course the creta also gets this thunder blue which really elevates its visual appeal to a different level now what does the word n uh, signify in n line so uh, you might be knowing about a district called namyang uh, in south korea so that is where the global r d center of hyundai is located so the n letter stands for namyang uh, that is how the n originates so the n uh, sports division that we've seen in the european market has not yet made way to india now these are n line versions not the n versions so the n variants are super powerful proper sports hatchbacks and uh, sports sedans that are available in the international market really hope that uh, they come to india someday but for now they are giving us a glimpse of what uh, the sports division stands up for with the n line where you get uh, different tweaks all around so what are the tweaks you're going to find out right up next so with the n line hyundai have always tweaked the suspension the brakes and the steering and uh, for the creta they've gone one step further they've given us large 18 inch wheels which was long due because the seltos got the 18 inch wheels in the x line variant so it's about time that the creta with the kind of legacy it enjoys uh, the kind of fan following it enjoys here in india with the kind of trust it enjoys it deserved a variant with 18 inches so they've saved it for the n line and now you get massive 18 inch wheels 215 by 55 uh, tires and uh, they really Really, really make it look huge actually proper SUV kind of a feel flared wheel arches body cladding all around the uh, that red lining uh, slashes across the bodywork and even the character lines uh, flow freely across the bodywork with the flared wheel arches the blackened roof line uh, screams proper SUV kind of a look and uh, then of course yeah talking about the N increments you get sport suspension stiffer suspension such that you can corner hard all four disc brakes I think that's been included in the top end variant as well but this one gets red calipers to add on to the sporty appeal and uh, the braking efficacy and efficiency is going to be slightly more better is what I feel I haven't driven it I'm going to drive it in a while and uh, that drive impression will be featured so we've done the uh, suspension the uh, braking and then of course is the steering the steering clearly you can feel the difference that it's slightly heavier than the regular Creta because uh, it has to complement the kind of performance that's lurking underneath so these are the major increments or the N increments that the Creta N-Line actually features in this iteration now we're talking about the visual aesthetics uh, the visual overhaul that the N-Line gets as I told you it features the thunder blue color which uh, elevates and highlights the design accents more the new Creta looks more alive in this N-Line variant it has the proper bonnet lines so it uh, looks more convincing as an SUV more like a sports SUV and this end-to-end -end LED DRLs also you know uh, pop out more and then you have the N grill up front which again adds the sporty uh, SUV kind of character the N line badging right over here the quad headlamp setup uh, lights up the way really really well and uh, then of course the embedded uh, LED lighting all uh, across the bonnet really elevates the visual appeal of the uh, Creta to a completely different level making it look the most beautiful it has 
ever in its lifespan here in India. So we've already talked about the profile where the 18 inch alloy wheels take center stage. Now moving on to the back, another important inclusion is this massive spoiler. This is almost like a rear wing that has been integrated uh, onto the roof line. And then you have the shark fin antenna, the black uh, rooftop, the integrated roof rails. And then of course the end to end LED uh, headlamp uh, structure, which gives it a modern appeal and a modern look. The end line badging right over here and a rare diffuser kind of a layout again this is far more pronounced in the Creta makes it uh, look far more upmarket and more uh, premium and sporty and then the dual tip exhaust completes the proper inline package so moving on to the interior the best part again is the end treatment continues and flows onto the interiors you have all black interiors with red accents which we've seen in other n-line variants uh, the seamless dash is the best part for me because it doesn't protrude off the dashboard so that is something that uh, eliminates blind spots and it's very well integrated uh, i would have preferred a new user interface and a new speedo layout with new themes for the creta because it deserves that it is one of the most legendary suvs here in the indian car market and getting the same treatment treatment as the sonnet is not uh, at all uh, fitting uh, and doesn't comprehend my mind and doesn't uh, you know convince me but uh, as of now this is what we get to get the same themes uh, for the eco normal and the sport mode and then you have uh, different traction control modes as well so you have snow mud and sand and uh, in drive mode you have eco normal and sport and you have the 10.25 inch uh, touchscreen infotainment system integrated into the speedo console you have the uh, dual zone climate control which is again very good lavish kind of a feature you have massive panoramic sunroof uh, that uh, kids might love to play around with and it lets in a lot of air then you have the standard uh, n uh, line seats uh, ventilated seats again uh, so that again is a value addition this uh, red accent looks absolutely stunning even you have a little bit of storage space here uh, massive glove box here so cubby holders and you have a wireless uh, charging tray here to put your uh, slot your phone over there cup holders and uh, you know st concealed storage space over here and of course you have a tilt and telescopic adjustment for the steering wheel and this is a proper n line steering wheel that's not the standard steering wheel that you get with the regular uh, creta so again this reminds me of my i20 it has paddle shifters and the powertrain lurking underneath is something that's special there's only one powertrain to choose from you have the 1.5 liter turbo petrol that puts out 160 ps of max power and 253 newton meters of max torque and you have two transmission options to choose from one is the six speed manual which is an absolute uh, enthusiast delight and then you have the 7-speed DCT which is no less in terms of offering sheer driving pleasure. So now uh, we also check out the door opening angle. So this one is opening up nice and wide for uh, allowing the elderly people to you know walk straight into the cabin. So that's a good thing. Seat set all the way back itself. We have sufficient leg room. You have good under thigh support. You have more than adequate uh, headroom. And then of course this massive panoramic sunroof lets in a lot of light. Uh, makes you feel that you're in a spaceship. That's how beautiful it looks. And uh, overall the Bose sound system uh, immerses you with its surround sound system. Gives you best quality surround sound. And then practicality is well defined. You have uh, dedicated AC vents at the back two uh, USB-C charging ports at the back as well for the rear seat passengers. Now the best part about the Creta is it gets adequate amount of ground clearance. It gets 190 mm of uh, ground clearance uh, but this one gets 18 inch wheels, feels taller so I believe they have bumped up the ground clearance. That has not been confirmed. Uh, we have to check it with the official dealerships. You can again contact uh, Neon uh, Hyundai or any other nearest Hyundai dealership to confirm whether the N-Line gets slightly higher ground clearance because it looks taller because of the 18 inch wheels. Now another practical uh, fact is the boot 433 liters of boot space allows you to you know stuff this with luggage as much as you like and then you have 60 40 split seats as well which you can fold flat to make way for more room for luggage. Creta has always redefined uh, safety in and of itself uh, it offers six airbags as standard and then you get electronic stability control hill hold control uh, auto hold function electronic parking brake 360 degree camera which is the best in segment in terms of clarity and resolution and then of course ADAS level 2 to top it all off with uh, you know lane keep assist uh, blind view monitoring and uh, adaptive cruise control and whatnot and uh, this is the massive 10.25 inch uh, 
touchscreen infotainment system and this is the 10.25 inch MID with uh, different uh, uh, you know speedo themes which is similar to uh, what we see with the uh, sonnet uh, which is kind of disappointing as I told you last time as well uh, same theme for the sport same theme for the eco and same theme for the normal so I really wish that was different so the touchscreen infotainment system has good fluidic touch response uh, but it is the same layout as what I see in my uh, inline i20 so it's not a day and night kind of difference they could have offered a new user interface for this as well as the speedo console one type c charging socket here and type a usb socket over uh, here as well and 12 volt socket uh, is included and then of course here you have the gear knob the same as what i find on my uh, i20 n line again this is kind of disappointing they could have differentiated it when you're paying more than 20 lakhs for a variant they could have given it a different kind of a knob uh, design uh, then electronic parking brake ventilated seats then this is the highlight here you see the 360 degree camera where you can choose from a 2d view and uh, uh, you know 3d view so this is by default in a parking mode but if you put it into drive mode yeah here you have a clear view of all around you from top from diagonal to everything you can just uh, you know scroll and uh, select as per your vision will and the display is very very crisp and clear and it works even when driving not only 10 kilometers per hour 20 kilometers per hour even when you're doing decent speeds cruising you can check what's happening on the go that is the best part and the camera clarity is top notch so guys this wraps up a quick overview of what the new Creta N-Line has on offer prices start from 16.82 lakhs X showroom for the base variant we have N8 and N10 there are two variants uh, with the uh, two transmission options so how does it feel to drive in real world conditions that is the biggest question of them all let's not waste any more time let's hit the road now okay guys so now let's uh, actually drive the n-line creta and see what it is truly made up of i have put her into sport mode yeah it's already in sport mode with sport suspension and we take off now with the seven speed dct Let's see what it's truly made up of holding on really really tight so we have done triple digit speeds in no time actually turned off the AC for even more seamless acceleration though so the best part suspension really feels rock solid much more confidence inspiring while you're doing triple digit speeds than the standard setup which is slightly on the softer side to enhance comfort and the steering sensitivity is far more stiffer to give you a slightly more uh, sportier kind of a feel the Blind view monitor is another major plus, eliminating blind spots. And the 360 degree camera is the best in class that I keep saying. We are having a beautiful sunset. It's the end of a wonderful day. I've been able to spend this entire day driving and testing the new N-Line. Uh, the brakes are better, much, much better to give you that kind of uh, stopping power that you need when you have this kind of a powertrain. 1.5 liter turbo petrol that puts out 160 PS of max power and 253 Newton meters of max torque. So it's absolutely monstrous. <laughs> it's like Guns and Roses meeting uh, Metallica or... Uh, it's like Sachin and Sehwag opening the batting for India. Absolutely master class and master blaster of an engine. And uh, it uh, is something that Krita deserves 
because uh, all along it's been a celebration of uh, all round capability and a proper family SUV that the Creta has turned out to be. But now for the younger generation, for the true blue enthusiasts, uh, we needed something explosive to celebrate the Creta legacy and uh, what better than the N-Line uh, to actually pave the way and make a new statement with its performance. And of course the Bose system and everything else adds on to the uh, uh, value proposition. Uh, the sunroof again uh, really really makes you feel uh, awesome. The seating comfort is really good, you do get ventilated seats. So they have parked it, uh, I mean they packed it with every kind of feature that you can think of in this segment. And that is something that uh, allows you to enjoy the uh, monstrosity that's uh, lurking underneath. But more than that, it's the sophistication, it's the overall package, it's the finesse with which everything has uh, been uh, uh, blended together that uh, makes you want to enjoy and compliment uh, Hyundai for offering something so savage, so sovereign in such a beautiful package cool so as you can see look at the stopping power progressive braking all four disc brakes really really make a world of difference and help you understand uh, that uh, this is something that needs this kind of stopping power I love the way the dash looks, I love the way they've integrated the console, the infotainment system into the speedo console and uh, the red accents, the piano black finish, everything screams quality, screams top notch, uh, uh, you know, luxury that this uh, SUV stands up for, paying more than 20 lakhs, you need that uh, X factor, you need uh, to feel that uh, you've got your money's worth and with this kind of powertrain with this kind of acceleration with this kind of intensity this kind of adrenaline rush I mean uh, you can't ask for more I mean for what you get at this price point it is more than phenomenal and uh, that's been the case with Hyundai they always pack their uh, uh, you know uh, propositions and their cars to the brim and even beyond that they try to give you more than what you come expecting in this respective segment and that is something uh, that uh, the new n-line Creta stands up for as well so that's pretty much it this is about uh, how it feels to drive like it is very close to uh, any other n-line be it the uh, i20 or the venue uh, the kind of sport suspension that you get the kind of uh, braking that you get So this is what makes it special, make, uh, makes it stand out and makes it a proper Creta and a proper inline vehicle in every aspect.